Okay, so, we are live. Ready. You guys know what Dave, do you want to close the garage door? Uh, I get super hot. Okay, we're extremely really loud. We're going to talk over each other. All right, we are live today. A fun little at home workout. All you're going to need right. is a chair or a bench, have one, and a backpack with some weights or dumbbell if you have some. So, without further ado, let's get started. Hey, Jessica, how are you? Good. Good. How are you? Good. 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 Her life. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna start on the floor and we're gonna do some exercise to open our hips. So, or I'm not sure how you call this position, but both like at 90 and the same position, uh, direction, and then we're gonna switch over. And now we're going to go okay, one so leg across, you guys need today, uh, then the other leg and, and, and just stand up a bit. Off, and so press one leg, the other leg over, and just lean forward. Yeah, so you really this feel this in your hips. Press, 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 so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go all the way into a lunge. So we get pumped out, and this is, in my opinion, like like the hardest day of the week. So we'll grind through together, which will be really nice. We talk about how terrible it is, but I want to start with just going through like a little warm up and practice. One more each side. Just to make sure your lower back, the hips, your knees, everything's working really good. Feel pretty good. So I'm going to see the little routine that I use on my back. Awesome. Now we're, we're going to go down. I'm going to take a towel and I'm going to place it on the ground just for my knees. On our so hands and knees. Like and we're going to do a couple cat cat. And uh, right. we're going to go through like, three position one shot blocks. All right. So I'm going to place this button down. All right. Right underneath the knee. Down. And now we're going to keep our hands in front of us, and we're just going to bring one leg on the side, and we're just going to do small little circle on the hips. That should really help stretching your groin. So just small little circle at the hip. It's about 30 seconds each leg. Open it up. We're going to switch side. And again, small little circle at the hip. That should feel pretty good. Hot legs. All right. Yeah. Now we're going to bring Should one leg forward. Here. We're going to mm. sit on our other leg oh, yeah. and lean back okay, so and let that foot come hand. on the side. So we're gonna put it on top and we're just going to go up and then I'm going to have you straighten out your back leg. And you're just going to make little circles with your hands. Yeah. So you can go, you know, 10 clockwise, 10 counterclockwise. Just get a little hip range of motion. And one more. We're going to switch leg, left leg in front, uh, right leg like outer more. side, hand goes from the knee to the overhead. And, and you should feel it stretch in your quad. We get 10 rotations. Just open up your thoracic spine, lower back, and just go back to the top. Okay, so we're going to go through a little circle on the hips. Just like that. Okay, so we're going to go through a little circle on the hips. And we're going to sit back on both legs. And we're just going to go left to right, just Back to left to right. Really open up all the muscle. Good. Now lean back in your hips for a second. Stretch out your quads. And then you're going to switch legs. So now we're going to the opposite leg. All right. Now we're going to bring the feet in front of us. Open it up forward. 
and we're going to just walk our hand back. Good, Max. You got and I like to bend my really elbow important. a bit because yeah. I feel like it stretched my shoulder a little bit more. So I'm going to bend my elbow a little bit really and I'm just going to swing left to right gently. That should really help us open well, the shoulder back. back. Yeah. You're going to take your hand, put it on top of your foot, swing out your back leg, and take your little hips. So we're going to bring your hand closer to us, and we're going to do five hip break. Well, go to table top, sorry. Three. Four. And five. All right. Really about pressing so go back to sitting. One leg around. forward, one leg cross. Then we're just going to twist and come back in the front and twist. And we're going to do it five times. Three and four and five. It's really opening the back here. Same thing. And we're going to do some press ups. This is a little part of the McKenzie back protocol, which is a great rehab protocol. And four and five. Last thing we are so going to do is going to bring your butt up so you you lift with your chest and work slowly. And you press with your arms. So I'm going to go back and each. forward, each, each leg extending and bending down. Woo, my calves are tight. If you guys wouldn't mind, uh, just mute, mute yourself uh, so <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Everyone doesn't have to hear each other. All so right. So I am kids. feeling pretty warm. Um, pretty calm <laughs> too right now, which is nice. So today what we are going to do, we are going to do um, three rounds of four minutes AMRAP. And we're going to rest one minute between each round. So we're going to go for a total of 12 minutes of work with three minutes of rest total. So what we're going to do, we're going to do five hang power clean into 10 dip into 15 air squat. And we're just going to keep going like this um, until the four minute is over. We're going to rest one minute and we're going to repeat two more times. And the goal is going to be able to be maintaining the same amount um, of repetition that we did, or hopefully even like go up and do more. So now we're gonna warm up our specific movement for the workout. So we're going to start with our hang power clean. So hang means about mid tie. So we don't go to the floor. So just hang mid tie. You're going to start with your feet about hip width because we want a jumping stance. And what you're going to do is you're going to bend up the hips, bend up the knee, and you're going to aggressively extend up the hips and knee, shrug the weight, and then drive the elbow up and re-bend the leg. The re-bend the leg is going to help you get under the object if it gets really heavy. So at first, it might just be no re-bend up the leg, but as you get um, tired, just think about re-bending the leg, getting under the object. That's going to help you keep moving more. So let's do five on your own um, at your home <laughs> or wherever you are. Let's do five to warm up and uh, try to choose a load that you're going to be able to do the whole thing unbroken. So we want those five reps to be challenging, um, but that you can still do the five in a row through the whole workout. Maybe take one breath before you get going. But uh, if you're doing two and threes, the weight is a little too heavy. So five on your own. And really focus on keeping that back arc. So here we go. Here I have 35 pounds of belt for me for this workout. So one, two, three, four, and five. So that's not easy for me, um, that weight, but it feels pretty good. So I think. That's gonna be a good weight for this workout. Our second movement, we're going to do dips. So here I have a bench. Um, if you have rings or a bar dip, you can do that or just go on a chair too. I'm already out of breath. Um, so for the dip, what I want you guys to focus on is just really squeezing your elbow in. And as you dip, you're gonna let the elbow slide back and then you're going to push down as you extend 
your elbow and really focus on reaching that full tricep um, squeeze at the top, okay? So what I don't wanna see is that the elbow flare up and the shoulder roll in. And here you can see, like this is not a good position for my shoulder. So I want my shoulder pull back and down and it's really the tricep that bend and extend. Let's do five of the version that you wanna do for this workout. The further my legs are and the longer they are, the harder this is going to be. You can even elevate your feet if you want, make this extra hard. Um, and the closer to the ground and the more bent closer to me my legs are, the easier this is going to be. So let's do five um, and let's try to find an option that you'll be able to do um, a couple of your first round unbroken. That means like without breaking the 10 reps. So let's do five right now. And you do the hamstring curls like that, just pinching the dumbbell between your feet. It's all the same movement. This is a hamstring frequency. So we're going to perform 25 of these hamstring curls. And we just want to make sure that it's starting to burn a little bit at the end. So for this then movement, the range of motion I want you guys to reach is simply RDL. the one that your shoulder so is allowing you to go to. So if there's like a little stretch at the end, that's fine. If you're like pushing and it's uncomfortable, that's too low. So let's not go there, okay? Pain free is always where we're going. So our last yes, movement is going to be air sets. squat. We're going to do 15 of them. There, so let's revise a little bit of the technique for that movement. Now, and we're going to do a couple together. So let's do those together when at the same them, time. I'm going to go slow. So And I'm going to give you some pointer. So first thing first, I want your feet to be about shoulder width. So here if I go down for my shoulder, my heels should be there. I'm going to turn my knees out slightly, uh, sorry, my toes out, and I'm going to start the movement by pushing my hips back, and then I'm going to start to go down. When I go down, I'm pushing my knees out. And, uh, and here, I want everyone to go back on your heel. So you should be able to wiggle your toes here. And stand. Going on, so when really you stand, we're driving through the ground, through and, uh, our heels. Kind of All right, so and back down. Here, everyone, lift your arms up, lift your chest up, up here, and stand. So we really want that upright torso. So hips go down. We go all the way down. We push our knees out. We try to go deeper, and we bring our chest up. So twenty-five. Three, and we're gonna do two more. This is set number one. Four and five. So a couple tips here. Pushing your knees out is gonna help you have room for your pelvis to go down a little deeper. So let's make sure we do that. It's gonna also keep your knee in a good and safe. Uh, um, so he's going to give you some mechanical advantage and uh, bring you in an orthoped, orth orthopedic safe, safe position. That was a big word. All right, so the workout today, we're going to go for four minutes. We're going to do five hang power clean, 10 dip, and 15 air squat. We're going to rest for one minute, and we're going to repeat that for three more times. You guys ready? Yes, I know we can hear Dave too. He's being very loud. That was my time to do my life and he stole it. All right, so we're going to start in, I'm putting the timer on. We're going to start in like one minute. So get your setup ready and uh, let's do it. All right, I'm going to put the timer on and we're going to get started. Two, right into the regular stance, all the bells at the side. Let's see. You can put this lower. All right, so four minutes on, one minute rest. And we're going to do that for three rounds. Two, final stance, two more stance. Four minutes. Uh. Should have done that before. Okay, and then one minute rest. Uh. Good. So 
All right, uh, you guys ready? We're going to start in about 10 seconds. So again, one more time, five hang power clean, 10 hip, 15 air squat. We're going for four minutes. And we're gonna repeat that three more times. So we're gonna start in 20 seconds. You're hitting different aspects of the hamstring. So with the toes out, you guys are hitting outer hamstring. All right. And five, four, three, two, one. And do 10 dips. And the further your legs are, the I'm harder those are little, going to be. Like, see if I get a couple more extensions, QL stretches, all that kind of stuff. All right, let's hit set number two. Hamstring curl, creep the team. Into 15 air squats. So, 5, 10, 15. For those really focused on keeping your chest upright and keep moving. Move back, just get a little bit more tension. And here we go. So that's one round. Yes. We're going to so keep so going yeah. for well. two minutes and 40 yeah. seconds. So we're going to start duck footed. Five, hang power clean. Really focus on arcing that back, keeping your weight Two in your heel. Sets. Ten dip into now fifteen Two. air squat. And nice in the Two air up. squat, it's okay to let your knee. Go forward a little, as long as you're staying on your heel. This is really yeah. hard when you do this, where the knee doesn't go forward, oh, it makes yeah. you fall back. So it's okay to let your knee go forward, but you have to stay on your heel. Crazy. Crazy how challenging that is. And you guys treat it the whole setup here. Leg day. And our dumbbell energy leg day. It's an adaptation of muscle energy. All right. And it's actually not that not different. Three. The only difference is we do the banded hamstring curl. Back arc weight on your heel. Dumbbell already all complex, but you know this is just as hard. So 90 seconds. Now collect yourself. Take a couple of swings. Really Each think set. about a jump in the yeah, hang really power clean. It's a big jump. Hamstring butt. And 10 dip. Keep those elbow tight in. You guys hear Cammy going? I like she's so much more encouraging to you guys. And she's like, good job, guys. Nice. And work. I'm just like, oh, this is completely awful. 15 air squats. <laughs> David, you're yelling. I know. 15 air squats. She says nice things and I, I say loud things. All right, about 30 seconds. Just Set keep three. breathing here. Hamstring curl. RDL super set, dumbbell anarchy, getting ready for our big squat movement coming up next. So we're about halfway through this guy. Let's hit it again. All right, we have about 20 seconds. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna bump the tension up on my band. Here we go. I'm gonna go with the Let's heavy do, band on this two one. Two more movement. So I'm feeling a little bit more warm. What? I'm ready to bump it up a little. Yes, tight. Yeah, 
And rest. Oh, One minute break. We're going for two more times. My clock did give up on me, so I totally guessed that four minutes. <laughs> so we have one minute rest, and then we just start my clock again, and we should be good to go. <laughs> All right, one minute rest here. Now let's do the same thing two more times. Go on now, here we go. Make it work. Duck footed first. About 40 seconds. We're gonna take a sip of water. Two more times. Let's try to beat our score. Go the regular stance. All right, we're going in 20 seconds. 20 seconds, get ready. If this wasn't hard enough, now it's time to pick up the pace on this second round. So pick up the pace if uh, you feel like this wasn't enough for you. All right, we're going in three. Three, two, two one. Air squat right away. Right away. Again, guys, in the air squat, we're we thinking about pushing out. our knees out so they stay over our toes and the we weight should be on your heel. Challenges. So, here in but, those, uh, you can even think about wiggling your toes to really feel the, the weight in your heel. Four sets here, five sets in the squat, and then we'll end this with three sets of the dumbbell step up. You know, people always ask about cardio and conditioning. It's like, do I need to do extra cardio or conditioning? And I don't know about you guys. Now, when you guys go like back on the clean, what I want you guys session. to focus so, on is to really keep to that upright torso. So when you bring the weight up, think about my torso stay high when the weight comes back like down and then I bend at the hip. So don't think about bending at the hip with the weight still up because now the weight is going to pull you forward. So here I want to stand up, bring the weight down first, and then I'm going to follow with my hips. The same way that is the hips and then weight is the weight and then hips. And that's and really going to help you keep your balance and keep focusing on bigger. keeping that back arc. Here we go, round number two. Good. So pre workout, lap lift, last set. So here, About weight and seconds. then hips. Really good one right there. Weight first, we'll hit then last hips. One and we'll move on. Four and five. Uh, and this. I'm alive. What's up, guys? Here Enjoy we go. Let's keep up the pace. You guys are loving it. You guys are, we got the Zoom class, the special group here in the Zoom class, and the rest of the world is kind of following. What are these Thunder Road people doing? 15 air squats. Thunder Road jerks. Again, feet are here. Right, Shoulder right width. You can we'll think about it. bringing That's your it. arms up to really help keep your chest upright. So Attention here, on this one reads, you just keep the arm up, it'll help. So Fire up your erector muscle. Anywhere from 30 to 125 pounds of extra resistance on top of your belt, especially if you're on a big dumbbell set. And uh, we just got on this week, immediately had to restock because they sold out really quick when everybody started training at home. So we just restocked them and got a bunch more. And if you guys don't have them, they're up now. Here we go. And we have one minute left. Let's go increase the pain. We have a whole minute to rest after. Here we That's go. Hard. And Come on, close your eyes if you have to. Let's go as hard as you can. Five hamstring curls. Turn to your band. Woo! There she goes. All right. Here we go. This is tough stuff here. 
We go 20 seconds. We 12 reps each position. As many as we can here. We're going to start with the duck foot, heels together. One and round. Woo. Good work. We have one more round. One more round. I think I moved you, guy, and you lost me there. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. One minute, and then we have one more round. And then we are going to do a little uh, leg burner finisher. So 30 seconds is going to be our last round here. In 30 seconds, we're going for another four minutes. Oh, yeah. Getting oh. sweaty here. 20 seconds. Every time. I'm going to take a sip of water. Good. Okay. All right, here we go. 10 seconds. So the three fatigue. Last round. Heart rate is high. Everything you have. Remember our three, so two, two, one. And right away. When you hold the bell, right away. What you do is just kind of clean it up. But you can hold it on the side just like this. This is the first set. We'll probably give you another bit to rest here. But uh We'll do the first set. 15 air squats. One close set. Chest up. So we're going to go. Arm if you reps, want for extra challenge, and stay on movement. your heel. When you guys are squatting, nothing fancy here. Get yourself up when you squat down. Try to push your knees out. Try to keep your chest up. But they're really just some simple things to kind of think about. I'm not going to inundate you with technical information here. Um, and we'll get that first set in. And then we'll work on a continuum. Awesome. Round number methods. two. Here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start mixing some tempos after Dumbbell, that. Dumbbell. Get the thick Let the motion. knee bend. And then we're going to get a drop set. Arc your again. back and I'll big jump. Drop set could look like up. a dumbbell at least. Just think about but, a uh, big jump. Another thing you guys can do also feet. is if your dumbbells are heavy enough, you can use your band. And uh, I'll show you. With one of these bands here. We're going to do something similar with the banded step up. But yep. The elbow goes back and forward, not side to side. If your band is just not heavy enough, or your bells aren't heavy enough, you can use extra band resistance by stepping on top of the band. Or actually, I mean, it's backwards. Straight over your shoulder first. Then you're going to step on top of the band. And do and 15 air squats on those. I just want you guys to move and think about your form. So a little slower with better yeah. form. It's better yeah. than right high right intensity it's with poor so form. Much, it takes a set of dumbbells or me a, a set of three dumbbells and it essentially gives you like a set of like 15 dumbbells if you have the band resistance and you kind of mess around with it. Um, okay, cool. So breath is back. Ready to rock, and we're gonna hit the squats. First one's gonna be 15, just go nice and smooth. Nice yeah, work, we have a minute here. and a half left. There's no judgment, there's no rush. We have time for one more round for sure. The central nervous system, getting used to the rain when you're going to, you know, just let things open up as you go uh, for this first set. This is one for the set. A big belt here, we're gonna go arm right across the chest. We're gonna go 15. Nice work, keep moving, you're, we're almost there. We're almost there. Awesome. One minute. You can work for one minute. It's nothing. Wait on your heel. Push those knees out. Yes, sir. Whew. Good. All right. 30 seconds. Come on. Let's go. Not too bad. 30 seconds. Keep well, moving. Sorry, Keep y'all. moving. We do a lot of reps for dumbbell anarchy. I mean, reps are just, they're good.
greater hypertrophy. You know, the more time under tension. Nice. More stress on the muscle. And dip. There uh, we go. Got to accumulate volume to actually get muscles to grow. I think it's one of the big changes people see in our program versus, say, other pure strength programs. 15 and down. <laughs> nice work. All right. Okay. We're going to take one or two minutes to chill. And we're going to do our little finisher. That was set number one. Woo. Next set, what we're going to do. Nice work. Nice work. So All right. One tempo. or two minutes. It's and then we'll do a little light down. finisher. And three seconds up. So it looks like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. We'll do that for three reps. And then after those three, we're going to do three reps back. Woo. One, Two, I'm sweaty, three. sweaty. That's the tempo. One, two, three. Oh, one, how was that? Two, three for three reps. Back into three backs. Is that good? One, two, three. Feel the burn. One, yeah, two. awesome. One, That's two, what we want, three. right? One, two. Three, nice work, three. guys. And then three reps back. That so, was fun. That was a really fun one. Like I hope the so little one tips and tricks for the technique helps um, okay. along the way. Volume, um, also, my goal is to really to help you guys. Is the tempo, is the time under tension. So even if the weight well, by itself is that challenging, what you Andre, I think for us is the way to go. It should be getting really hard for you. All right, so today our finisher is going to be David. You're really talking yeah, loud. You're, you're I got so much mass in the middle. It's of like you're competing right now to like talk as loud as possible. All right, so we're going to do a little butt finisher right. today. So we we're going to do some, um, they're called Death March, Death March, and we're going to do some one leg hip bridge. We'll so what we're going to do, we're going to do three rounds of 10, a one leg hip bridge into um, 10 to 20 second hold, depending on what you can do. Then we're going to do the other leg, and then we're going to do 12 Death March. So we're just gonna get started. Just yeah, look at me if you're not sure what we're doing, and then just jump in uh, right after. Maybe I do one or two reps if you need to see it first. I'm gonna bring my little towel back here. Three. Okay. Because we get to be fancy, you know? All right. So for the one leg hip bridge, I'm gonna lay down on the floor. Feet forward. I'm gonna put my hand right next to me and bring one leg up, and I'm just gonna yes, press sir. up with the other leg. Now, if this is a little Whoa. too hard, it's yeah. okay. I want you to Three. put your other feet down, but Three. only assist as much as you need. So don't go Three. both Three. feet together, but Three. just Three. maybe bring that foot on the toes or yeah. like something like that. So you Three. really Three. try to use this one leg as much as you can. Three. So. We're gonna go to variations using some of the thunder row methods from muscle anarchy adapted to dumbbells. Five, and six, it's part of our program. Seven, eight, eight, nine, and ten. We're gonna hold
while keeping you your back arm. Like so if you go up to here and your back, back starts back around, back that's as low as you're going to go. If you can't go feet, all the way down with your back straight, distance. that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do so we'll drink water, well. We'll drink water. We'll drink these are meat potatoes still there, you know, like you want you to, I'm going to grab or, you know, for lack of a better word, my dumbbell make this on first. each side, so you get something out of and I'm just going to step forward like this. Mm. One. All right. Yeah, come yeah. on, wrap your head around it now. Three. Ten tops. Ten bottoms. Four. Ten poles. Dumbbell Five. anarchy. Here we go. Six. Get up. Do it, wait. Seven. Do it here. Tops. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Ten bottom. So that's round one. We're gonna go ahead and keep going right away in round two. So left leg first. We're gonna do ten. One. Ten, ten bolts. Three, four, five. Seven, Five. eight, Six. nine, and hold. Seven. Eight, nine, and yeah. oh. hold. Oh. Yeah. Hard. That's hard. Fifteen. <sighs> Twenty, mama. Woo! The burn is there. Right leg. Okay, Here we right go. Low. One. Those long sets. Two. Really jack up your heart rate. Four. It's about five. 90 degrees down six, here. I'm seven. Just eight. Losing a lot of water. Nine. And a hole. I talked to you guys about some stuff. If you watch uh, Instagram, I made a video about uh, different methods, Ten. foods, lifestyles, supplements, and even drugs to bring you super healthy in your body, to just strengthen your immune system. Twenty, awesome. In two or twelve, that uh, smart. So right away, you should so really start to feel uh, function, your hamstring, function, your glutes, really and your lower back. So if that's really what you're feeling, stuff, it's good. <laughs> your have to process that muscle so there's a supplement I recommended, and you can get any variation of this, which is a kidney cleanse supplement. Yeah. Usually some high dose cranberry, Three. a couple other adaptogenic herbs to help Four. water intake. You know, down and Five. a half to two a day is really good. Um, and uh, in terms of Seven. liver support, I don't know what side of the liver is on. I think it's on the left side. <laughs> right side. Nine. Um, liver support, things Ten. like milk, milk thistle. That's really good. It's not free. It has good bile in the liver. Keep the blood well. clean. So next set. Last round. Last round. And then burn. Ten bottoms. Ten bowls. Good for today. And Here then the very one, last one two, is gonna be a three, monster drop. I'll four, show you how to kind of progressively drop five, it down, but let's six, say this next one we're going up thirty. Seven. Ooh, that eight, really jacked up my heart rate. Nine and hold. Free workout. Get my outlook on. Okay, so let's get it. 15. Yeah, number four. We're doing good. We're almost, we're almost through it. 10 tops, 10 bottles, 10 bolts. 20. Right leg. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And hold. 10, 10 bottles. Ten. Fifteen. And it pulls. Twenty. Nice job. I started to shake. I hope you guys do. All right, last twelve here. And that will be it for today. Nine, eight, there we go. Nine, One. Two. Remember, focus on that back yeah, arc. Good. Three. Good. Four. I don't want to sit down. Five. Oh, good. Six. Seven. Didn't work, Wilson. Eight. We're getting work here. Nine. 
can. Bob is working out in the Better garage. Hands go. Yay. Well, oh. Woo. Nice work, everyone. I oh, hope you guys, you guys had a good workout out of this. And we're going to keep doing these every day. So if you guys need some motivation, accountability, we're here just for you. Have a good day. And just so